is. There we go. Pick one off the top of a branch with a square bill. It's Dalton, everybody. Just back out here doing some fishing. Hoping to not get a hook in me, of which is exactly what this dude would do if I'm not careful. Um, this little Strike King 1.5 and a uh, little chunky guy. It's in a shad base color. I've got some real shallow brush back here. And what I'm doing is I'm just tipping it or just bouncing it right off the top of that brush using 15 pound test so I can get him out of there. And uh, he took it real good. This is what I'm throwing that square bill in. So you can see kind of how I'm bouncing this thing right off the tops of these. And uh, seems like when I hit something, I go ahead and get a bite. There he is. There he is. There he is. Really been relying on the square bill today because these guys have been uh, moving around a lot. So I've had to, it seems like they're moving around a lot. This one here has got some fight to him. Oh, I got him hooked funny, that's why. Yeah, he's hooked funny. He swiped at it, so I got him on the side. That's what wound up happening here. There we go. There he is. So, sometimes I'll swipe at these square bills. And I wound up hooking him on the side. Now, this guy's been caught before. You can see it on his mouth. And uh, really just bumping the, just, you know, what I've been talking about, just bumping the top of the, the brush and just working it really slow and just letting it kind of deflect. Seems to be working pretty good today. Today's been pretty good with a crankbait and uh, square bill this morning and, and a little bit today. And now I'm throwing a rock crawler. And this wind's kind of blowing up against these uh, bluffs over here. So I'm just um, tossing this bait right in those rocks, just kind of letting it just bang around and wound up getting that one. So. You know, it's funny, I, I threw worms today. I didn't get any bites. I even threw a Ned rig and didn't get any bites. But because of this mild breeze I've had, I've just been staying either back there in all those little stick up twigs with that square bill, or when I see it's a little bit deeper, down around 10, 12, 14 feet, I throw this rock crawler. So crank's been working today. So, this morning it started off pretty tough. I wasn't getting any bites. I was throwing worms and uh, even through a Ned rig, surprisingly didn't get any bites on a Ned rig, but I had a kind of a mild wind like it is right now. So I started throwing a Strike King 1.5 square bill. Uh, I don't remember the exact name of this color, but it's a shad base color. Throwing it on 15 pound test and a medium action uh, six foot eight Okuma rod. And the reason for that 15 pound test is I was throwing this over the tops of submerged uh, uh, brush 
and I was just tipping the top of it and just ripping it through. I needed a little, little more strength in my line. Uh, when I got along these bluffy walls, and, and some of these, you know, some of these bluff walls, they just drop off really fast. So I had to parallel on some of these walls, and I mean almost get up against the wall in order to be able to bump the rocks. And then the points work pretty well too. And that was just uh, one of my favorite crankbaits, just that rock crawler, shad base color, uh, 12 pound test line, seven foot medium action rod. And so today was the day of the crankbait and uh, wound up catching a few with that. Had a great time out here. As always, appreciate all of you and we will talk to you next time.